हेलो एंड वेलकम आई एम डॉक्टर अनिल जोशी वेलकम्स यू टू दिस शॉर्ट प्रेजेंटेशन then cervical oblique that what is patient position is usually right or left oblique as per clinician's indication by and large both side are taken so that we can get symmetrical view now these can be taken either in standing position or by supine position in the uh, bucky position if we take on supine position a bucky picture can be taken and if we take standing usually it is without bucky then angulation is 0 degrees then object distance that is the film to cassette is 100 cm objective distance is a subjective word descriptive word film size is 10 by 12 and bucky is optional as i told you but if you want to have a oblique projection very clearly you need to have a bucky that gives a good picture now let's see it is standing position we are going for a cervical spine cervical spine instruction to the patient yes a technician is given to the patient now he has made patient oblique it is a 45 degrees angulation sometime we show a patient instead of just moving him with the help of hands yes he has done it correct neck is straight straight 45 degrees angulation now a tube is adjusted a centering is made at c1 c2 level patient should not move should not look here and there he should be straight then push the collimator in such a way that only the area of interest will be exposed without exposing other parts so it is extremely important to see that full collimator is never kept now a senior person will come and do the collimation work it will be collimated so that entire spine will not be exposed yeah. only cervical region we are exposing we are not interested in exposing dorsal spine because it will not be seen clearly also in this projection now again we are seeing same earlier you must have seen that it was with 45 degrees angulation here we are seeing it with very minimal angulation so angulation depend on what part you want to radiograph sometime it is the intervertebral foramina sometime it is the these are the hypophyseal joints so these positions see the advantages of uh, erect position our standing position is you can take both the projection in same sitting so also if you want to take lateral also you can take in same way so you can take ap lateral both obliques if patient is standing it's very easy very convenient and fast for turnover so as i told you the central is routine lateral so routine lateral you do not see intervertebral foramina now see the oblique you are start seeing the intervertebral foramina this side so also you can see hypophyseal joints properly so these are all intervertebral foramina so best visualization of intervertebral foramina can be achieved only by the oblique radiograph a lateral radiograph will tell you about the disc spaces vertebral bodies etc but if cervical cord compression is suspected or cervical root compression is suspected there is no alternative than to take a oblique projection these are the must so also it gives good visualization of the cervical rib thank you for watching this video now in case if you need more information do visit our website there are more article more illustrations and more informations the addresses are given they are just one click away from you